and welcome to another exciting video. In this one, we'll be taking a look at how we can create audio recorder using HTML and JavaScript. So here you can see that I'm getting a prompt that this page wants to make use of microphone. If I allow this and then click on this start recording button, this is going to record the audio that right now I'm speaking. And then as soon as I hit stop recording, my recording will be available and I can play it over here or I can click on download audio to download the same. And this file will be downloaded as a WAV file and if I click on this play button, it will play the audio that I just recorded. Now let's go ahead and see how this is created. So this is the plain and simple HTML file. It has just got two buttons, start recording and stop recording and then we have the UL list where the audio recordings will be shown. And here we have the audio player control. Clicking on the audio list items, the audio player will fetch the audio and it will play it. Now the core part is inside the audio rec.js file. Here you can see that we are setting up the necessary variables like the reference to start, stop, audio list and audio player. And once that's done, we are making sure that the browser does support media devices. And for that we have navigator.media devices and using get user media and for that we have navigator.media devices and get user media if this is fine then we are accessing the audio media and that's the thing we have mentioned over here as audio true and once that's done we are recording as soon as the start button is clicked we are recording it and we are pushing those chunks into this variable audio chunks on stop, we are creating a WAV file and we are assigning it to a constant audio blob. Then we are making use of the create object URL to provide it as a URL so that when we click on the player icon, it starts playing. And here we have the list item and audio link item. And finally, we are assigning the href, the audio URL that we have created. This is what I was talking about. When we click on the download audio link, it is going to download in the audio slash wave format. So the file will be audio.wave. And these are the basic stuff. We are just appending things to the list. And whenever we are clicking on any of the audio files that have been recorded, and then we are setting the audio chunk back to zero or we are initializing the audio chunks over here. Here we have the add event listener for a start and stop button. So when we are clicking on the start button, it is resetting the audio chunks. We are then calling media recorder.start and we are disabling the start recording button and we enable the stop recording button. When we are clicking on the stop button, we are stopping the recording. We are enabling the start button and disabling the stop button. And that's pretty much it that we are doing. So over here, you can see as soon as we recorded one audio, it showed over here. If we go ahead and click on another recording, and this time we are recording a new file, click on stop. And here you can see the list is now coming up. The latest recording that you have made will be shown over here. So you now have two recordings and you can download each one of them. Closely observe that if I click on this link, we are getting a blob URL. And when we click the download attribute basically sets the file name to audio.wav file. So that was recording audio using JavaScript and HTML.